Very good evening to you and be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Fernando, what a powerful meeting we have had this evening with the pastors, all of us together. And I believe many people's lives were transformed because we are living the faith of the 300 most capable. People nowadays, they are going through quite a lot. And they think there is no hope for better days. They think this is the end. So it was with Gideon. He thought it was the end. After seven years, he couldn't imagine himself out of that situation anytime soon. And how many people, they are now watching us, and they cannot imagine, they cannot think of themselves out of the situation they are currently in anytime soon. Hey, if before, many, many of them, they didn't believe in themselves, now imagine now with this quarantine, with this locking down, imagine now people, they watch on news every single day, say, say that the, the, the situation of the, the country is getting worse every single day. So there are many people that they have been drinking from the water of fear, from the water of bad news. But Gideon, as we were talking about it, so Gideon, he didn't. He refused that situation. He had that spirit of revolt. And it is exactly what God look in our days in order to reverse the situation that this person will watch us right now. As he spoke about the waters, he exchanged the water of bad news, the water of crisis, the water what of distress, the what of negativity for a sword. Mm -hmm. Because he was determined to win. He was determined to come out of that situation. And perhaps you have been drinking of this water. That's why you have become hopeless. That's why you have become distressful. You don't know what else to do because you are feeding or you are trying to quench your thirst, but you are drinking from a water that's making you more thirsty. You are drinking from a water that's making you more bitter, more frustrated. Why not to exchange this water you are drinking from for a sword? Why not to give ears to the word of God as Gideon gave? Because the moment he gave ears to the word of God, God was able to raise a powerful army beginning with him, starting with him. There was a need of a leader in order to the power of God be unveiled to Israel. And God is looking for a leader in this person's house. And this person who is watching us right now is the Gideon of today. Exactly, because Gideon, he, under, he understood that for God to listen to him, he had to listen to God first. And from the moment that he heard the voice of God and he put into action God's direction, he could be able to reverse that situation. And we see, Pastor Marcus, that we are in a locking down for two months and a half. The people of God, they were in a locking down for seven years. And God sent a prophet to talk to them, but they didn't listen to the prophet. But from the moment that Gideon, he decided to listen to the voice of God and follow God's direction, that situation could be able to change. You see, speaking of a prophet, a prophet was also sent to Hezekiah. Mm -hmm. A prophet was sent to Hezekiah to say, put your house in order, because you will not recover, you surely die. But Hezekiah, like most people nowadays, rather them to be desperate about the situation, rather them to lose hope he turned to the wall and he cried out to God. He asked God to remember him. Why I say most people nowadays? Because there are many people crying out to God right, right now, Pastor Johnny. Many people, they are crying out to God. Many people, they are saying, my God, take me out of this situation. Remember me. They have no choice. They have no one to turn it to. Because sometimes this person, they try to receive help from their family. Their family member also, they need of help. Sometimes this person try to ask help for their manager or for the supervisor. Also, the supervisor, they are in Christ. They are in need of help as well. So this person, they don't have no one to turn it to. Like Hezekiah, he didn't have anyone to turn it to. All in God to reverse the situation. So when he turned towards the wall and he prayed, remember now, God remembered. We are going to turn towards the wall and we are going to pray on your behalf. But you have to take action. You cannot only rely on the prayer we are going to make. After this prayer, you have to exchange the water for a sword. Because God is looking for the 300 most capable in order to change their lives, in order to transform their lives, and your life will be transformed. Let us talk to God. Our God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we turn our faces towards the wall. As Ezekiah he did to ask you, remember now. 
Rene Manau, my father, this mother who is desperately crying out to you because of her son. Remember now, my father, this husband who is desperately crying out to you because of his wife. Remember now, my father, this wife that's crying out to you because of her husband. So many people, my father, they are now in great distress without knowing what to do. People are depressed, people are oppressed, people are bitter, people are burdened. People, my father, are hopeless. They don't know what to expect because every single day has shown itself worse than the previous one. But, my father, with you all things are possible. So in the same way, no one could help Ezekiah but you. I call upon your name and I ask you, help this person who prays with us. This person that lost a job. This person whose business has been shut down. This person that is suffering the side effects of this pandemic. This person, my father, that is crying right now because words cannot come out of this person's mouth this person is running out of words remember now my God remember now this mother that prays for her children that has become drug addict remember now my father this breadwinner that is hustling trying by all means to bring the daily bread to the table but has been failing oh Lord Jesus Christ release an answer from heaven and change the situation of your people my God bless Trinidad and Tobago bless the governors bless the leaders the ministers the prime minister bless our oh Lord Jesus Christ the private sector the public sector bless the economy of this country stop the violence bless our youths remember our nation heal our land in the name of Jesus consecrate this glass of water and when your people drink of it may they drink of your power and may their lives be fully restored so we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So my dear friend, believe God has answered you. Believe God has blessed you. And that is not all. Because tomorrow, Pastor Junior, I will be half past five in the morning in the workers' prayer, determining the blessings of God upon everyone before they set their feet out of their house. And you are going to be seven o'clock in the morning in the fasting of impossible cases. Exactly, Pastor Max. And let me remind you that the fasting for the impossible case, it begins right now before you go to your bed, before you sleep. You must open your fast. And tomorrow, seven o'clock, you must have uh, the old clothes. As we thought you last week, Saturday, you have to prepare because tomorrow we are going to fight against the old problem. This old problem that you have, we are going to put an end to the situation. And for sure, the impossible will become impossible. If this person would like to get in touch with us in order to request for a prayer and advice, we have two different platforms for you to do so. We have the online pastor, 24-7, throughout the day, throughout the night. You are going to learn how to benefit from it. Or you can call us directly to the following numbers, 389-9880 or 709-8062. You can also WhatsApp us or text us. We are going to place your name into the holy oil. We are going to be praying on your behalf, but do not limit yourself to the prayer. Speaking about the prayer, Pastor Junior, the universal church is open every day. Exactly. According to the regulation that has been passed by our leaders, we are entitled to host meetings with five people. Therefore, four members, four people, plus the pastor, the total of five. And following the regulations, prior entering the compound, the people they are having their hands washed, sanitized, we make sure that you have to be wearing a mask. If you are not wearing a mask, you will not be able to attend to the meetings. The meetings are being held from hour to hour. And not only that, if you are in the group of risk, 60 years and above, we strongly advise you not to come. Stay at home because we are together with our government, together with our leaders, fighting this pandemic because together we are strong. We are doing everything in our power to contribute to the eradication of this disease. Isn't it, Pastor John? Exactly, Pastor Marcos, because we care about Trinidad and Tobago. 
Tobago, and we care about you. And we are obeying the laws, we are for the direction that our Honorable Prime Minister gave to us. But if you want to come, if you want to pass by the church to receive prayers, and also to help us with our unisocial, we are asking people to donate non-perishable food, food items, in order for us to help those who are in need. Because, Pastor Max, there are many families, many people in this country that they don't have at least a bread to provide to their family members. Besides offering people spiritual assistance, we are also a helping hand to the need. Speaking about being a helping hand to the need, let us watch the work of the Unisocial together with the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together we are strong. Due to the tremendous success of our Unisocial Week in Trinidad and Tobago, giving back to the communities, And by touching the lives of many, the Universal Church to continue with reaching the hundreds of homes who have been stricken with this nightmare of COVID-19, we come to you by asking your donations of these non-perishable items. Water, canned foods, cleaning products, and any other help will be greatly welcome. You can drop off these items to any of our branches nationwide. If you have these non-perishable items, cases of water, and clean products in large quantities to donate, you can arrange to pick up with one of our drivers by calling any one of these numbers. 389-9880 or 709-8062.